Hello, I'm Q Whitford with Agri Supply, product training specialist. Thank you for joining us today. And we're going to briefly discuss hydraulic valves. Now, in just taking a quick glance, these are the Energy Made hydraulic valves. Just taking a quick glance across them, and they do all look pretty much alike. But there are some key differences on internal components and such that, and such that we'll discuss that may help. Let's talk about a log splitter. All right. So, in a log splitter type situation. All right, of course, there, well, there, there are two different hydraulic systems. Most, most things are what we call an open-centered system, which basically, in the plumbing of the system, uh, is that it provides a, the, the plumbing of it pro provides a return path back to the hydraulic reservoir or the tank, and you know, in, in a continuous loop, so to speak. And then on a closed system, but don't let this trouble you. On a closed system, like certain tractors are. Uh, have closed systems, but there are some ways that we can look that up for you. You can go online to determine. If, if you're hooking this up to a tractor, you would need to know if you had an open or closed centered system. But in a closed centered system, basically what happens, the pump is supplying fluid to the valve, and when the valve is pretty much demanded to do something, that's when the fluid would go through and it would not never run back to the tank, so to speak, at that point, a constant pathway. Uh, to and it would increase as it needed to the pressure would so to speak so but don't don't let that don't stick on that too much just know that there is a difference uh, in, in most of the cases that we deal with here in the southeast uh, most of the things if it's not tractor related is open center so let's speak about a wood splitter now in another video we did we did show you basically how, how a lock splitter worked and if uh, what happened basically when you were Applying pressure to the valve, the cylinder was extending out. But if you let go, it would pop back to neutral. Now, when you want to bring the cylinder back in, you would pull the cylinder back up, and it would stay there until it, it would stay in the lock position until it did finish its closing and pop back to neutral. It would be the detented valve, detented valve. So, depending on what you want to do, say for instance, all right, let's say you had the, you know, you just want it to be a two-way power for use with the log splitter, and you want the detent in it for the auto return. We have that, and it would be open center. We have that valve for you. Now, and also, if you were running a log splitter off of a tractor and had to had its power source coming from the hydraulic hoses on a tractor, but the particular tractor you were using had a closed hydraulic system on it. Uh, in that same case, we have a valve. We would offer a valve to you in that. So, and we have that particular one available as well. But in most cases, if you can just, you know, tell us what it is you're trying to, to accomplish, we can determine uh, which valve you would need to, to meet your function. But there are valves to where they work, power is desired in both directions, but they're not wanted to lock. Meaning that if you hold pressure to a valve, and then it'll continue functioning the cylinder or whatever you're applying the pressure to. When you let go, it pops back to neutral. When you pull it back the other way, it'll come in or it'll turn the other way or, or, or whatever's required there for your particular need. But, and do know, and, and if you have a situation where you need multiple valves, or, like, or, or a valve that had, or a double valve, joining them together, as you'll see here, this is three quarter inch ports, this is the out portion, but say if we needed two, two valves or a double valve, all that really needs to happen could be just joining them together with the three quarter inch pipe nipple and then you would have the function and ability to be able to do that. So anyway, thank you for joining us today. And uh, just there again, if we can help you with hydraulic valves, just uh, give us a call or go to our website and look up various information on it and we can, we'd be glad to ship you some and there again, hope this has cleared the air for you some of the differences in the valves. Have a good day.